Hello everyone and welcome to this review of the Zag Spark, which is a mobile battery pack and wall adapter uh, for any kind of your smartphone or USB powered devices. Now Zag sells three models of this guy on their website. A 1220 milliamp hour uh, battery version, a 3100 milliamp hour battery version, and then a 6000 milliamp hour battery version. And the difference between the three is that the lowest end model, the 1220, will only charge your device once before this is completely dead. This is the 3100 model, it will charge your device twice before it is completely dead. And then the 6000 model will charge your device four times and it has two USB ports to charge two devices before it is completely dead. All of the devices look like this, so let's look at the hardware. Very sleek, very compact design, no bigger than a deck of cards, no heavier than a deck of cards, so it's very lightweight, very easy to travel with, uh, and it's very easy to kind of just throw in your bag and toss it wherever. Now, Zag is trying to do this thing where they're recommending that you get rid of your power adapter for your iPhone or your S4 or your Blackberry. You carry this all the time because it does have these fold-out prongs and then you can use this as your power adapter, but then you can also use it to give you that little bit of extra juice when you're out in the field and you don't have access to power. So on the front here, you've got this nice, sleek, silver front. Uh, on the top here you have five LED lights. That'll indicate how much power or how much charge you have left on this before it is dead. Uh, on the back here, you've got the fold-out prongs, so they fold right back up in, make it a very sleek, very compact device. On-off switch, so that when you're not using the device, you just want to toss it in your bag, you've just given it a full charge, you can toss it off and then it can serve as battery and you can use it uh, as, you, as you will uh, whenever you want it. On the bottom, you've got one USB charger, again, on the 6,000 milliamp hour uh, battery version, you've got two chargers, so you can do two devices at one time, and then the 1220 only has one as well. Overall, very sleek device. All three of them have a 2.1 amp power outage, uh, so they all deliver the same amount of power out of it, it's just the battery capabilities within them are different. Now this won't just charge Android phones, this is gonna charge your iPhones, your Blackberries, and on Zag's website, it'll, it says it'll charge any USB powered device. So uh, Zag actually sent me a pair of iFrog wireless headphones uh, that are Bluetooth, they have a battery in them. I was on the train yesterday coming back from uh, home, coming back to Toronto, and they were dead whipped out this guy, gave the, phone, the headphones a full charge on the train and then was able to use them uh, when I was coming back here, walking back from Union Station and then a little bit uh, on the end of the train as well. So it does work with a wide variety of USB power devices. On Zag's website, I saw that a fellow was complaining that obviously it did not cha uh, charge his iPad. You guys have to remember that the iPad is a power machine. You know, it has a way bigger power consumption than any other smartphone. So it probably won't charge your iPad full, but I did try to charge my iPad, uh, I think it's a third generation iPad with it. I'm not sure how big the battery is on it, but it's a third generation iPad. It went from about 18% all the way up to about 40%. So it did give it that little bit of extra kick, that little bit of extra juice. Um, but obviously it's not going to charge it to full capacity. So overall, I actually really enjoyed this device. I've been using it quite a bit. Uh, it's really handy just to have, just to toss in your bag and always have the knowing that you're uh, maybe in class. Uh, I was on a VIA train yesterday, didn't have access to power, but you always have something to power your USB devices. So you need that little bit of extra kick on your phone, your headphones, etc., etc. You have it with this guy. You can buy all three versions of this, uh, all three of the 1220, the 3100 and the 6000 version on Zag's website. The 1220 is $39.99, this guy is $69.99, and then they're out of stock of the 6000 version, so I'm not sure how much that is, uh, but I can only assume maybe be $89.99 or maybe $99.99, which if you ask me, $69.99, so $70 plus tax for this guy, is a little pricey. I mean, it is a little bit expensive. So if I had to buy one, I'd absolutely buy the 1220 version uh, for $39.99 because realistically, per, like me personally, I'm never gonna be away from uh, an outlet or some kind of charging where I'd need to have to charge my device two times over on battery charger, uh, or on battery, pardon me. But that's just me. I don't know about you guys. Again, I'll throw the link down in the description. You can check out the actual product page down below. My name is Luke DeMarco. Let me know what you thought of this review in the comments down below, or maybe you use a different kind of battery charger. Let us know down in the comments uh, because I'd love to see what other ones are out there and then maybe give them a try out as well. Anyways, guys, this has been Luke from LukeDemarco.com, and I will see you in the next video.